if prevention can be accomplished, then cures will not be needed. How's that for a quote to start your day? Hey y'all, what's up? It's me, Ms. Ruby. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video. I would argue that this is probably one of the most important videos I have ever made in my entire 10 plus years here on YouTube. I really hope you stick around until the end because I'm hoping that by the end of this video, your life will be transformed. At least your mind will be transformed the same way this information has transformed my life and my mindset, okay? So as you can see by the title, I wanna talk to you guys about how I was able to get my husband to start eating his vegetables. As a matter of fact, the book that got my husband to eat his vegetables, okay? So I'm gonna tell you guys a little story about this, but ultimately I do wanna let you know the purpose of this video is to educate or educate you guys, just kind of like open you up to the idea and the concept that you can achieve healing, you can achieve weight loss, you can achieve your very best quality of life inside and outside by being introduced to the truth about the connection between what you eat and your health. By the way, please excuse my dear little one in the background. There's absolutely no way I can get around this. Okay, so the new year is approaching us. We have three months left in this year and I know everybody's gonna sit down with their new year's resolutions and a lot of you guys are gonna talk about losing weight and you know, trying to look good. And most times that's like where our mentality is at, okay? We're focused on how we look and then some of us care about how we feel but very rarely is it like a holistic approach to just really being the best, most optimal version of ourselves. And I wanna talk to you guys about how they're connected, okay? So just to brief you guys, for those of you who don't know me, I am a 31 year old mother and wife. I'm currently pregnant. I have three months left in my pregnancy. And throughout this pregnancy, if you've been following my journey, you know that like my focus is really getting through this pregnancy better than I got through my last pregnancy. And so it's definitely led me down the rabbit hole of doing a lot of research on my health. Prior to getting pregnant, um, I was experiencing a lot of like just internal personal issues with my health that were not necessarily diagnosed as diseases, but I could tell that something was wrong. So I kind of been on this kick for a minute, um, but most recently, I gotta let y'all know how I was able to get my husband to transform, okay? And I'm not actually gonna credit myself. All praises to God, first of all. <laughs> but basically, you know, uh, my husband is like a typical man, or I don't even wanna say that. I'm sorry if that's offensive, but you know, my husband is just, you know, he grew up eating, you know, fried chicken and pork chops and you know, the whole shebang, everything, everything that we love to eat, macaroni and cheese, all of that, right? He loves his cheese, okay? He loves his bacon and his eggs, okay? And it's been a custom in our household that I am usually always the one trying to eat a little cleaner, a little healthier, being a little health conscious. Um, and he's just kind of like, all right, do you? And when I go on a diet, I'll do all that. But if I'm not on a diet, please put some cheese on my eggs, okay? So, you know, it took me a minute to kind of get a, a, a accustomed to that and just accept it. But recently I have, I've begun to really respect his independence and all of that and just make his food how he wants his food to be, right? So, just so happens that um, he, you know, recently told me that he wanted to start trying to clean up his diet a little bit and lose some weight. And around the same time, it's really interesting because you know how Google be all up in our business. <laughs> But Facebook started to promote this book to me. It was just kept showing up on my timeline and I kept kind of ignoring it. And it was the book by Dr. Bobby Price, Vegetation Over Medication. Finally, one day I just like clicked on it and I'm just like, let me see what this is about. Turns out Dr. Bobby Price is actually a plant-based nutritionist who was formerly a pharmacist. Ended up finding out that this man, you know, had dealt with some of his own personal health issues. He too, very similar to my husband, wanted to lose some weight so he could like look good, you know, for the upcoming summer or something. And he decided to go on this plant-based diet for like one month. And he ended up experiencing such a transformation in his health that it led him to want to just travel and learn more about this way of life. Travel all over the world, learned all these different things from different people in different countries, different cultures about how they approach health, wellness, um, fitness and everything. And it fully converted him to the point where he is now like prescribing people or educating people using his resources to help people through preventative measures rather than medication. And he's someone who openly admitted that he felt bad because like a lot of us, we think sometimes that we think that doctors are either the saviors that are gonna have all the answers to our problems 
or we think that they are the devil and they don't care about us and all they want to do is shove medication down our throat. But he admitted that a lot of doctors get into the science because they want to help people and that's the best way they know how. Just so happens that everything that they learn in school is more about treatment and not about actual healing. And so if you think about it, when you take medication for anything that's wrong with you, when does it ever actually heal you? Never, right? Medication does not actually heal us. Our bodies heal us. Our bodies were designed with immune systems to heal us from diseases, from illnesses. One second. Hey, stop. So anyway, going back to the story, around this time I, I, I see this book, it comes down my timeline. And so I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and buy this book so I can kind of look into it and see what I'm gonna learn. But before I even got the book in the mail, I actually went to go follow Dr. Bobby Price on his Instagram account. And on his Instagram account, he said that he was starting a group detox for the fall and the next detox wouldn't be until next year. And I thought about how my husband said he wanted to do something to try to lose some weight. So I'm like, oh great, this might be a great opportunity because this guy is probably somebody he can relate to. Um, he's educated, he's a doctor, and he's gonna help him through the detox process. So I'm like, all right, for sure. So I buy the detox, I tell my husband, he's like, cool, I'm game. And I put this, I started putting these series of videos out on my Instagram if you guys have been following me called Tasty Tuesdays just talking about how we're transitioning our kitchen and we're transitioning our lifestyle so that we can start eating more plant-based all of that was really in preparation so that my husband could be ready for this detox because it was a plant-based detox and so I credit Dr. Bobby's book as being something that really kicked it off for me because even though I hadn't read the book yet the fact that I just found out who he was purchased the book, was led to his detox, and then got my husband to say yes to doing the detox, changed everything. Okay, so we went, like I said, from eating our steak and potatoes and eggs and cheese and bacon all the time, almost every single day, something like that, right? To like, you know, completely converting to green smoothies and oatmeal and natural sources of protein found from the earth and not from animals and all of these different things. So throughout the detox process, I'm so grateful to say that my husband, not only was he inspired to the point to where he said he's gonna read the book next. He, he ordered his own book. This is a man who I ain't never seen read a book in the entire time we've known each other, okay? Not to say he don't read, but it ain't, it ain't, it ain't a book next to his nightstand. Okay. Uh, and he, you know, is now going to the store. Like he finished the detox recently now going to the store to source his own herbs and willingly going to these health food stores with me, looking at labels, looking at ingredients, so much change for him mentally. And that's like amazing to me. He lost 15 pounds in the process. He was able to start to have regular bowel movements again, which is not something that he was accustomed to, and just so many this little small adjustments that have inspired him. So I wanted to share his story with you guys in hopes that it will inspire you guys and then just lead into this uh, topic of conversation I think is so important. Okay, I sincerely care about the betterment of my fellow brother and sisters, especially my people, right? I grew up, you know, surrounded by all types of ailments. You know, high blood pressure is completely normal and to be expected. <laughs> you know, as a black American, right? Um, uh, things like diabetes and obesity are things that we kind of just like overlook. Like I never really took it that serious. And so recently I started walking around the store and just paying attention to how people look, how people are, are acting. So, so many people have very low energy to the point to where when you get around someone with good energy, you think they're weird. You're like, what drug are you taking, right? That's like abnormal. You know, so many people are dealing with digestive issues like I, was dealing with uh you know prior to making these changes and so many other things like big things like heart disease and having heart attacks and and having a uh, rheumatoid arthritis and and getting alzheimer's and and cancer and just all of these things that plague us and we think it's hereditary we think it's something that just came upon us that we were meant to get and then we just go to the doctors for treatment and unfortunately a lot of times it doesn't really yield us the results that we really want which is ultimately healing, full healing. 80 to 90% of the people that you're gonna see walking around, probably you yourself, are either overweight or obese. Um, obesity is a disease. It's it's debilitating. It, it, it takes your body out of the rhythm of healing and puts your body into a state where it's constantly trying to just 
survive okay even if you're not obese you could be like me you can be thin and you can still be dealing with issues like fatty liver gut issues digestive issues and developing all types of sensitivities to things like gluten and things like dairy and 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 so on and so forth and so I've learned by reading this book because I just finished it yesterday going through this detox with my husband and self-educating myself finding other doctors that talk about this um, other nutritionists other people who have healed themselves from chronic diseases you guys the things that you think there's no healing for from big things you know like I said heart disease cancers actually reversing these conditions to small things like regularly having headaches or regularly being fatigued and not having energy. Maybe you're somebody who's struggling with weight loss. You feel like I lose the weight by doing XYZ diet, but then it comes back. Or you're somebody who's able to successfully lose weight, but you're still unhealthy. Like I legit know people who are in beautiful physical shape that are still on heavy medication. And when you think about it, like you, like we don't connect the two. But the fact of the matter is, is that when you experience healing in your body, true healing, you should be able to do more than just lose weight. That's, that's a byproduct of healing yourself. And so I wanna talk to you guys about it because I'm tired of seeing us having to go half of our lives lethargic and walking around with canes and not being able to do certain things and being like, oh baby, I'm just getting old, I'm 48, like, that, do you realize that there are people around this world who live to be 90 and 100 years old and beyond that are still like climbing hills, taking walks, fishing, writing books. They have all of their facilities available to them. What is the difference? The difference is that they've been fed information that we have not been fed. And I want to be a voice that echoes a lot of these scientists, these nutritionists, these doctors, these experts who have devoted their lives to studying this information to really help people heal. I wanna put some videos out and I wanna break this stuff down to you guys bit by bit as much as I can. I wanna to talk to you guys about resources, about um, things, you know, videos that you guys can watch, documentaries, um, doctors you can follow. I wanna to talk to you guys about specific nutrient information that we have been misinformed about you know the power of vitamin c the, the the myth about protein the confusion around weight loss you know a lot of times we're so focused on losing weight because we're just worried about how we look you know oh i figured out a way to still be able to eat steak and cheese and lose weight not realizing that those levels of cholesterol are literally clogging my arteries leading to heart disease and i am on my way to being another super fit person who randomly you know, kills over with a heart attack. These things are really, really happening. And I'm not trying to say that vegans are just guaranteed to never get sick or anything like that. But I'm just trying to say that there is definitely a correlation between what we eat and our overall holistic health. And more times than not, reducing our intake of every animal-based product has proven, has shown factually, scientifically, to be the healthier version of eating. And a lot of us, we just don't understand how to really, really, really make that change. So what I wanna do for the rest of this year is I wanna give you guys at least one video per week where I take you guys to the grocery store with me, where I show you guys what's going on in the kitchen, show you guys how to like just use simple ingredients that maybe you're not accustomed to using, help you guys out with some recipe ideas, help you guys out with some information, okay? There's so many videos out there, there are so many documentaries out there, uh, books that you can read, whatever way that you like to get your information, okay? You spending time on social media all day anyway, why not spend a little bit of time learning how you can feel better, how you can be better, look better, do better. I hope that you take it serious, join me, make some requests in the comments below thanks again to dr bobby price this is just the beginning of the journey for us we're not perfect eaters we know we still do eat meat and cheese once in a blue moon you know but we have definitely made a whole lot of improvements and you know myself i want to help you guys with the same thing so yeah remember to be you love you make it all beautiful god bless you and i will see you or you will see me on the next video till then deuces